welcome in the reasoning section of every competitive exam includes questions from the topic alphabetical order this topic is considered to be quite important and every year a good number of questions are asked from these topics we are going to discuss with you and provide the basic concepts and tricks to alphabet test in order to solve these types of problems the basic concept that you have to know is the only one alphabetical order and the place of the letters so the question will be to find the english letters between two english alphabets or to find out the place of english letters with some relation in order to understand this concept more better let's take some types of questions type 1 series of alphabets in this type of questions the exact letter has to be found out with the help of direction of place given in the questions here are some examples problem number 1 find the 11th letter to the left of 21st letter from the left in english alphabet the options are d j i l so first you have to understand the alphabetic order and place value of each letters they will be like this let's solve these questions from backward so the 21st letter from the left in english alphabet is u and the next word is 11th letter to the left of 21st letter that will be 11 letters left to u we get that letter is j hence the answer is option b j let's take some more examples problem number 2 which of the following option is 7th to the right of 13th letter from the left in a forward alphabet series options are r t v w as the same let's start from backwards forward alphabet series means as same as a b c d etc up to x y z and backward alphabet series means from z y x w to c b a so here we choose a b c to x y z and the 13th letter from left will be m and 7th to the right of m will be like this that is the letter t so the answer is option b so these are the two examples for the first type problem we can easily solve these type of problems if you know the alphabet order place value and left and right positioning of letters it is important that always start from backward to forward while solving these type of questions so that you never be confused do you think that this method is confusing you but don't worry let's have a rule for quicker method case 1 if both the directions are same then subtraction of number will be the answer for example in the first problem both are left of 11th and 21st position so subtracting we get 21 minus 11 equal to 10 so the answer will be the letter having place value of 10 from left that is j in case 2 if both direction are different then addition of number will give you the answer for example in second problem both are different directions one is 7th to the right and another one is 13th from the left so adding will get 13 plus 7 is equal to 20 so the answer will be the letter having place value of 20 from left that is t let's take one more example problem number 3 if english alphabet is written in backward order or reverse order then what will be the 14th letter to the left of fourth letter from right 
So the alphabet written in backward will be like this. Hence, the fourth letter from right will be D. As the same, 14th letter from the left of D will be R. Hence, the answer is R. While solving these problems through quicker method, we get that both directions are different. One is left and another is right. So adding will get 14 plus 4, 18. So the answer will be the letter having place value 18 from the right, that is the letter R. As you know that in quicker method after finding the place value the direction is left or right is based on the direction of the last sentence here it is right so we choose as right direction hence the answer is R now we are clear that the problems based on place of letters in complete forward and backward what about when first half is backward and the remaining forward order. Let's take an example. Problem number 4. If first half of the English letters is written in backward order, then what will be the 7th letter to the left and the 10th letter from the right? The options are C, E, D and J. In these types of questions, only first half of alphabetical series is reversed and remaining are left as same. As the order of A to M is reversed and N to Z are remaining same, it will be like this. So, 10th letter from your right will be Q and 7th letter to your left of Q will be D. Hence, the answer is option C. In quicker method, both directions are different, so adding 10 plus 7 will get 17. Hence, the 17th letter from right will be D. As the same when place of letters where the second half is in backwards, it will be same order from A to M, but from N to Z it will be reversed like this. Let's take an example. Problem number 4. If second half of the English alphabet is written in backward order, then what will be the 8th letter to the right of 14th letter from your left? So the 14th letter from left will be Z and 8th letter to right of Z is R. Hence the answer is letter R. Through quicker method both directions are different so adding will get 8 plus 14, 22. Hence, the letter having place value of 22 from left will be R. This is the first type of alphabetic order problem. Let's discuss about type 2 problem related to letter gap. This type of question is based on finding the total number of letters in between given two letters. Let's take an example. Problem number 1. How many letters are there in between the ninth letter from left and the sixth letter from right in the English alphabet. So the sixth letter from right will be U and the ninth letter from left will be I. We need to find the total number of letters in between I and U. That will be 11 letters. They are J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S and T. It can also be solved through quick method. Here both directions are different. So adding will get 6 plus 9, 15. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. So the remaining letter will be 26 minus 15 that is equal to 11. Let's take another problem. Problem number 2. Which letter is in the middle of 8th letter from left and the 9th letter from right in English alphabets? So, the 8th letter from left will be H and the 9th letter from the right will be R. Then, the letters in between H and R are I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q and the middle letter will be M. Hence, M is the answer. Also, through quick method, 
number of letters in between H and R will be 26 minus 9 plus 8. That is 26 minus 17 is equal to 9. So the middle letter will be 5 that is M. Let's discuss about the third type problems related to word formation. In this type of problem, there will be a meaningful word that we have to find out from a given letter. Let's take a problem. If the name of a game is formed by rearranging the letter of the word L-A-O-F-O-T-B-L, then what will be the first and last letter of the name? From the letter, we can understand that the letter will be rearranging their position. We will get football. So the first and last letters will be F and L. This will be the third type of problem. And the fourth type will be letter in an alphabet order. Let's take an example. How many such letters are there in the word carpet? which remain same in their position if they are arranged in alphabetic order. Now, let's take the word carpet. When it is arranged in an alphabetic order, it will be first A, then C, third E, fourth P, fifth R, sixth will be T. So we get A, C, E, P, R, T. Here, the letters P and T remain unchanged, their position as 4th and 6th. Hence, the answer is 2. And the last type is number 5, words in an alphabetic order. In this type of questions, you need to find which word will come first based on their alphabetic order. Let's take an example. Problem number 1. Arrange the word in an alphabetical order. Remove, revive, refer, reflex and remark. In all five options, the starting letter is A. So let's take the next letter, E. As in all options, the second letter will be E. Again, let's move on to the third letter. In option A, it is M. In option B, it is V. In option C, it is F and in option D, the third letter is F and again in option E, the third letter is M. From M, V, F, F, M, the letter which comes first in the alphabetical order is F. But here, it is two cases that the option is C and D. So let's take the next letter in option C and D. The fourth letter in the option C is E and at the same time the fourth letter in option D is L. So first option C will come and then option D comes. To check which will be next we have to identify the third letter from option A, B and E. It will be M, V and M. So the letter M comes before V. So option A and E will take first before B. But we have to check whether A or E comes first. For that, let's check the fourth letter of both options. In option A, that is the letter O. And in option E, that is the letter A. So option E will come first. Then option I will be the next. And finally, option B will be the last. So, we get in alphabetical order, then it will be refer, reflex, remarks, remove and revive. So, in these types of questions, first check the first letter in alphabetical order, then if all are the same letters, take the next letter, again take the next letter up to any one. Let's take one more example. Fame, shame, name. Came. So the first letter of these words will be F, S, N, C. In alphabetical order, they will be C, F, N, S. Hence, no need to check other letter positions. The first letter we get the order. Hence, answer will be came, 
fame, name, shame. These types of questions are also known as arranging words in dictionary order. Practice all these types of alphabetic orders with three or more examples. Hope you understood this session.